Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. The Vredefort structure in South Africa is the largest and second oldest meteorite impact crater on Earth. 190 miles wide and created by a 10 mile wide meteor that struck the Earth approximately 2 billion years ago. Scientists estimate it was travelling at almost 43,500 miles an hour when it struck the Earth, and although today the crater is greatly eroded, you can still see the shape of it in satellite imagery. It is larger than the Chicxulub site in Mexico that was responsible for the extinction of the dinosaurs approximately 65 million years ago. And today, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site because of its geological interest. But now, the crater is also of archaeological significance because whilst geologists were working on the site, they stumbled across a number of ancient engravings. Finds that will help experts learn more about the ancient human civilization in South Africa. The team of international experts from South Africa's University of the Free State were investigating the crater and according to IFL Science, it provides the experts with a rich source of information about the ancient rock formations that would otherwise have been lost. It was by chance that geologists noticed a number of remarkable engravings in one of the dikes, known to experts as Rain Snake Dyke. Named that way as from above, it resembles the Rain Snake deity in this part of the world. On the discovery, they alerted the archaeologists. They include carvings of animals including a hippopotamus, horses, rhinos and antelopes, and were created by chipping away at the surface of the rock, and what astonished the archaeologists is just how realistic the representations are, although a number of different styles were used by the ancient people. Although they are difficult things to date, the art of the rain snake dyke is estimated to be at least 8,000 years old, although it could be far older. Although their interpretation is ongoing, archaeologists believe they had a specific spiritual significance related to rainmaking. They were created by the Khoisan, who have long used the dikes of the crater for their ceremonies and rituals. These people are regarded as the first inhabitants of South Africa, and many people still live like their ancient ancestors, especially in the desert regions of Namibia and Botswana. San mythology is split into a three-tiered universe. Above is occupied by God and the spirits of the dead, the middle is the material world, and below is associated with the dead and shamanistic travel. Snakes were in all three tiers and were thought of as creatures of rain. The region is littered with artifacts and carvings from the Khoisan people. The weaving nature of the stone dikes were thought to represent divine snakes and according to the experts, the people believed that the crater was of spiritual significance. At the rain snake dike, ceremonies took place to persuade the gods to provide rain during droughts. Kragan, the uppermost deity, could transform himself into a snake and he had the power to flood the countryside. If a man wished to become a shaman in this culture, he had to plunge into a deep pool and come out with a large snake. If the snake did not struggle, as he came out, he was destined to become a shaman. He then had to kill the snake and perform a public dance with the skin tied around his head with the snake's body streaming behind him. According to Dr Matthew Huber of the University of the Free State, the animals carved into the dike are all associated with the rainmaking mythology of the San. And although the style of art has changed over time, they are consistent in being associated with rain and water. The dike is next to the Val River, a body of water on top of a hill that would have attracted lightning strikes. Going forward, a 3D computer model of the site will soon be in development, which will reference geological and archaeological points of interest, whilst experts Jens Creek and Shiona Moodley will be looking at how the ancient people used the site. More rock art is expected to be found on the next archaeological expedition, as researchers plan to visit new sites that have yet to be explored. The new discoveries shown in this video are believed to be just the tip of the iceberg. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.